Hello and welcome back to another video. This is the first installment of free and open source digital agency. And uh, if you don't know what this uh, project or series is, please watch the introduction video. And also you can check overview and uh, prerequisites uh, to this project on my documentation site. In this first part, we will install our uh, VPN because uh, this is the most important part of this uh, free and open source digital agency series. A VPN with dedicated IB can be your key to greater infrastructure security and protection. And in this deployment, uh, we will unlock the potential of secure computing for your business or personal use. Uh, why VPN? Uh, reason why we need our own VPN is to protect uh, SSH ports 22 on our servers and other applications that are not meant for public access. This is the easy solution for complete protection on any ports. And uh, especially we will install the Varhole stack which combines a pi hole for uh, DNS level ad blocking. Also it got unbound the DNS server and basically free and open source uh, WireGuard VPN. And uh, what is Varehole? Uh, you can read about Varehole on the, on the GitHub page or in my documentation by basically the Varehole is a combination of WireGuard, PyHole and Unbound in a simple Docker Compose project with the intent of enabling users to quickly and easily create and deploy a personally managed full or split tunnel WireGuard VPN with uh, ad blocking capabilities and DNS caching with additional privacy options. Everything is done in, uh, in the Unbound config and uh, we will take a look on it. So first uh, we will need to navigate to our VPN server that we provision in Hetzner in the overview and uh, prerequisites video. Once you have that uh, we, need to, we need to navigate uh, to, the, to our terminal. Once we are here, we can connect to our VPN. And basically, what you want to do is to secure your server. I included link with the basic server security. You can follow the documentation and you can do exactly what I'm doing on every single server. And also, later we will deploy Docker. And you can see in the documentation we have clicked to copy all the commands that I will be using. But for this video I will keep this uh, not included because you can do it on your own and it's pretty easy and you can follow every steps. So now I'm going to create our local user. I'm going to edit the SSH config, disable root login and install uh, UFW which is uncomplicated firewall. Once this is done, I will return to the terminal with other steps. So I set up the local user, enable SSH login and also disable root login. And for now we're gonna uh, enter uh, the one UFV firewall rule that we need to specify for this VPN to work and that is open UDP port on 51820. So if you follow the basic security guide, you should have already your UFVW firewall installed and configured. And now you need to add this command, which is sudo UFV allow 51820 slash UDP. And now when you check uh, UF sudo uv status number it you're gonna need to enable so sudo uv enable yes and now you should see that we have only port 22 opened and port 51820 for our variable and now what we need to do we need to do our uh, firewall in Hetzner for this project. So let me move window to the browser. 
and when you go to your firewalls we're gonna create separate firewall for this uh, variable VPN server so we're gonna create firewall rule SSH we can keep this SSH on port 22 and here we specify variable it's gonna be any IPv4 it's gonna be UDP and port 51820 and we're gonna apply our the VPN and we're gonna apply our firewall to our VPN server click apply we double check that's fine and we're gonna create firewall and also we're gonna remove our VPN server from the first variable we created in the overview and what's uh, left next uh, we can protect our port uh, 22 via crowdsec you can also find crowdsec installation on our on my documentation you can follow step by step all the commands and also you got the video walkthrough how you can protect your port 22 because we cannot specify ip of the server for connecting to the port 22 because that's just nonsense and it will not work so in this case if you have other dedicated ip yes you can whitelist that ip on this server but if you don't have we're gonna protect it uh, with the crowdsec and now we can proceed with the variable download and installation you can copy all the commands from the documentation site and uh, f uh, follow through so let me move back to terminal uh, copy and paste now when we are in the variable folder we need to edit our docker compose file which will be nano docker compose .yaml. and the most important thing to change here is your time zone we need to change your time zone to which time zone you are in my case is europe bratislava we can leave the port by default and the peers it means how many clients you want to connect uh, to the server how many how many users do you want to provision for this vpn so in my case i'm gonna add three so i can add for my mo mo mobile phone and basically that should be it and also with the pie hole we need to change our time zone as well will be Europe Bratislava and here between those quotes you need to enter the password for the web admin for the pie hole pie hole is great and you can leave everything by default you save this by control O enter and control X to exit and now we need to go to the unbound folder and change the configuration for outbound for uh, Cloudflare DNS over TLS so we do this by typing nano and unbound conf and we need to go at the end of the file it's a pretty long file you can go by the page down and what you want to remove is those uh, quotations remove all uh, hashes and our dns request will be encrypted by Cloudflare dns or tls and again control o to save enter to confirm control x to exit and now we can go back with the varhol and we can do docker compose up and we're gonna run in detached
and it is downloading the variable stack and uh, once this is done we can proceed Uh, once it has been installed, you can verify it by running command docker ps and looks like we have some error in unbound, so let me go check and fix that. Yeah, docker stop, docker compose stop. We're gonna navigate to the unbound again and no no unbound.conf let me check no no unbound.conf scroll down and probably we need to we need to add one more space and we go control o enter to exit move back and now docker compose up d and now we verify if docker is running and nope it is not running so let me pause this recording and let me figure it out uh, so i figured it out the issue with the unbound and the issue was the latest image has some bug so they recommend to downgrade to the another version which is 1.16 and when we check our docker compose we specified image unbound and the version 1.16.0 uh, and before it was uh, latest so you can uh, edit this or also you can uh, I will make the link for this uh, docker compose which is uh, working so close this and when we go to docker compose abd and when we verify if docker are running containers everything uh, looks perfect and is working so now what we need to do uh, we need to navigate to our sftp and uh, you can use a Termius. Here you can see SFTP. You've connected uh, to your VPN server. You go to the varo folder. Then you navigate to the WireGuard. And here you can see your clients. Your client the configuration file so is a peer one, peer two, and peer three. And you copy over them into the folder when you have quick access to them once you have that uh, you need to download the varguard application on the mac os or windows or uh, linux and uh, we will import the configuration file so once you install the varguard application on your operating system you need to open the varguard and click add tunnel and you select the tunnel from the configurations file that you downloaded and you just uh, you can name it so it will be vpn tunnel you save it you open it and you click activate and once this is done you see the traffic we can now go and uh, verify our ip address and also verify if the Cloudflare DNS over TLS is working. And as you can see, we have our Cloudflare DNS over TLS. We are connecting to the Cloudflare DNS resolver. And uh, when we refresh the page, it's gonna stay the same. So it is working properly. And also when we, what's my IP in the Google, it should give us our IP from our Hetzner server. So in this case, the IP is correct. And now uh, we can move, uh, we can check the additional features of this stack, which is uh, add blocking features with a pie hole. So in order to connect to the pie hole, 
we need to enter our IP address uh, for the unbound which is 10.6 let me check we need to enter the IP address of our DNS server which is 10.2.0.100 and slash admin and here you enter the password you entered in the docker compose file so we enter the password and here we can see the pi-hole status status dashboard and we already have uh, 166,000 domains on the ad list that will be blocked and uh, you can add your own ad list you can add your own urls you can find some of them on the github and uh, but for this case we're not going to configure pi-hole because the server is serving as our gateway to our other servers but if you want to use it also for your personal stuff you can add more blacklist and uh, for example when we enter some what we're going to enter as that google.com it will be blocked when we go to query lock you can see add that google.com was automatically blocked because it is in the dns block list and also if you want to add your own domains that you want to block you can navigate to the domains and you enter for example google.com you can edit that wildcard and you can add it to blacklist so now when we na navigate to google.com it should not work but we should probably refresh our blacklist at least where is it query lock as you can see google got other ways around if it's blocked so yeah you probably never can block completely google so that's the issue and uh, now what we can do we can whitelist our other servers to be forced to communicate only with this vpn so what we need to do we need to copy the ip address of our vpn server we need to go back to the firewalls we open our other firewall group which is for other servers and we remove any ipv4 and we paste our vpn ip address we're gonna click and save changes so for this i think it is uh, everything done what we need to do and have and in the part two we will set up the cyber panel and also configure the dns manager and all the good stuff that we need for our websites and our clients and uh, what about the budget how much we, we spent for, for now we bought the domain for uh, nine euros and also the server for the servers itself we paid around how much it was <laughs> let me check so it's around six euros per two gigabyte server and for the eight gigabyte server for cpx uh, yeah this so we paid around 22 euros with, do uh, with uh, domain so we already spent uh, 32 32 euros from 50 and we got our domain name we got our servers and we still got some budget left for other things that we will need in the future so if you like this video please leave the comments down below if you had any issues with the deployment let me know i will try to answer your question and help you and uh, make sure to follow the documentation step by step and you will not run into any issues so thank you very much uh, for watching and stay tuned for the next part which will be cyber panel and lightspeed.
take care and bye bye